Uh, the, the, the ebb and flow of the offense is certainly uh, certainly interesting. Uh, you know, I talk to fans all the time who go from worry to euphoric about the scoring. Uh, how, how is your approach just to the, the up and down that you've seen from the goal scoring? 82 games is a long, long year. And uh, the best offensive teams even in the history, and we had many of them here in, in Edmonton, uh, I'm sure there was times where it went dry. And sometimes it's not clicking for you. But um, unfortunately for us, the last... Uh, what is it, five periods, we've been able to find goals. Um, we've scored in and around the blue paint, which is something we weren't doing uh, in prior games. So those are all real good signs. Um, now we just got to keep it going. We talk a little bit more at this time of the year about scoring those, uh, those playoff type goals. They're not going to be pretty. They're not going to be uh, highlight reel goals, but there'll be a lot of work and grinding that goes into it. So do you, do you <clears> feel <throat> these last couple of games is a direct response because I know you mentioned in a previous interview about going over some tape and showing guys okay who's been around the net and at most is, is this a direct result of that I don't you know what you'd have to ask the players that question um, it's our job as a staff just to, to keep the players informed of what's going on in their own game and and team wise and um, sometimes they need to be re reminded we're human beings and and uh, we get away from uh, from the hard stuff and we, we like shortcuts. It doesn't matter if you're a hockey player or, or doing anything else in life. Um, so we, uh, we reminded the players, we showed them where they've been shooting from and where their second chances are coming from individually and then collectively. And they've obviously um, paid attention and uh, put it into play. Now, once they get away from it again, we'll have to remind them again. I think he's um, maybe further ahead than he was last year. Um, again, Clough is a hard player for us to really evaluate. Uh, a new staff coming in last year, by the time we, uh, you know, we got our heads above water, uh, Clough was already out of the lineup. And then he had many down, um, down days where he thought he was getting close and then was told that he had to shut it down. Uh, this year took him a while to find his game, but I think he's playing as well now as he has all year. I, and I would concur. I think that he's, uh, he has the vision, he has the shot, he has the legs to put him in those situations. Uh, it's just a little bit of experience now. And um, when you're coming back from that type of injury, you have a tendency to, to play conservative, try not to make very many mistakes, take care of your own end first. Um, he's doing a better job of that now than he was at the beginning of the year. And as a result, the offense is coming. So uh, I think he can be that guy. Can, can Russell <coughs> Uh, yeah, there's a good chance that both of them can. Uh, I think Russell's a little closer than, uh, than Darnell is. Um, not because of injury, just because of conditioning, timing, uh, practice time. Obviously, we've had these vacations, and it's hurt uh, some of the injured guys because they haven't been able to practice as a team. They've been out on the ice and, and uh, doing some skill stuff, but it's, it's much different when you get to muck and grind 5-1-5. Five five. Is there any thought to having Darnell since he's been out for so long? Play a couple of games and be this field rather than throw them back into it. Uh, not at this point, but we're not at that that stage yet. Okay. And what about Kara? Is he going on the road? JJ's going on the the only guy that won't make the trip is Benoit Pouliot and uh, he'll likely join us in the next couple days. Going back to your defensive situation, you have eight guys who can play in this league. It's gotta be a refreshing uh, a thing for a coach compared to last year where you guys had to dig pretty deep. Yeah, it's it's nice to have depth in the organization. It was um, Obviously, a goal of, of the organizations is to, to increase that in that position. Um, and that can happen a number of different ways than it has. One, um, acquiring people from outside the organization through trade and, and free agency. And two, developing your own players uh, that are on the National Hockey League team as well as in the minors. And uh, uh, Jerry Fleming and his group in, uh, in Bakersfield have done a good job with a lot of the young defensemen. And uh, they seem like they're a lot closer to... Uh, to being full-time members of our team now than they were a year and a half ago. And Hendricks is starting to score some points as opposed to just mucking and grinding. Is this just he's on a bit of a stretch here, or is that? Well, he scores because he mucks and grinds. And, um, you know, I thought his goal against, um, who were we playing against two games ago? Arizona, Arizona. Arizona, that's right. His goal against Arizona was 
the tone setter uh, for the other eight or nine goals that followed because that line uh, had a little bit of grind time. They threw it into the paint. They crashed that area. They were, they were rewarded, and it reinforced uh, some of the things that we talked about.